Greetings and good day, YouTube and Twitch highlight watchers. How are you doing today? I myself am pretty excited to continue where we last left off in the State of Decay campaign. Uh, I was intending to do the Heartland, or not Heartland, my apologies, Daybreak, and just grind that out. But I decided that I'm not in the mood to grind out Daybreak right now. So we're just gonna, we're gonna continue where we last left off and go from there. Heartland, we haven't really touched since we dived into it. I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to put Heartland on the back burner until I finish with this game, and then I'm going to finish up Heartland, grind out Daybreak to where I can like call in and have two, maybe even three kick-ass survivors in the most difficult game that we do, and We'll play on the hardest difficulty after that. Uh, we need to. We heard about your plan to wipe out the plague hearts. We can pitch in, but we need your help first. We need help gathering specimens for our research. It could get a little ugly. You want in? Everyone, everyone has skills, don't they? Yeah, you have gardening. We have to level that up. I love how Panicky Fighter makes it to where they will never go beyond three stars of fighting. I don't think they can get leveled up either. Right? Yeah, you'll never get leveled up on shooting because you have cataracts. So these two characters are characters that we may never see after this run. Or we may end up kicking them to the curb at some point if we find better survivors. That's a potential. That's a potential. That's a potential. Over there now. Let's go see what Crowley, Mr. Crowley, has to offer us, and then we'll go from there. Meanwhile, I also want to Can't check out. Uh, are we rationing? We are not rationing. So we're going to ration. Nobody's messed up. Uh. Revolvers crouched. And I could I could I could be convinced. Too loud. Hey, you're fine. There's people in the tower that are gonna snipe. Uh should have a revolver right here, 44 mag. Hell yeah. Hey. It's a shame that we don't have more than just 38 rounds of 44. We got a ton of zombies bound for base. Time to bring it on home. I mean Unintentional, but it works out in our favor. So, yeah. I don't think a lot of zombies come from this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. To take care of that juggernaut. Oh, God. We'll use the 44 on that bastard. So the good part about this is that tower right there allows to get rid of a good portion of these asshats. I can't keep this up. And that BAR, it's so loud, but it does so much damage. I want to get as much plague stuff as possible. Alright. Nice that little influence you get, yeah? Worse. 200 influence. Nice. You know what, I'll keep the plague sample on me. 
Because more than likely we're going to gather more. Uh, also, you know... There's a part of me that wants to bring another individual along. Let's bring our brother Chris. If we can. Hey, yo. Alright. I was I said I was gonna bring him along, but you know what? I can't see him. Probably in there sleeping or something like that. Or he's up top. Ow! Bitch! We can return to the bounty broker, get some new stuff, but I kind of want to try and finish up, uh, finish up the, what is it, 28 zombies that we need to kill? Well, not zombies that we need to kill, but. I wonder if that's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Uh. <laughs> plague zombies that we need to kill while crouched. With the revolver. Really? Damn, we're gonna have to be careful. Let's go see what these individuals want and then we'll go from there. Bunch of plague zombies. Clear for now, but no place can be secure with a plague heart nearby. Panic shot. Now you might consider this as a waste of forty more ammunition. You're not wrong. Hi. Hello, Crowley. We've got a job that's above our weight class. Could someone lend a hand? Crowley. God damn it, Crowley. That's what I wanted to hear. You got point. What? What? Council Flats neighborhood? Is that wait? Council Flats neighborhood is my home. Isn't it? Well, this is a combination of annoying and weird. Let's go get a sword. Maybe I should rest for a moment. No can do. There's many zeds around our home.
I hope you're ready, Crowley. Hey, Crowley's someone we can... Like, if they don't have a good thing for us... Rang the dinner bell. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Get siege underway. So this is a way to grind out influence. Just helping each other find what they need. That's how we do. Much obliged. So. That wasn't easy, but we made a strong ally. We'll need each other in the days ahead. We really came together, and it saved us. We have a ridiculous amount of influence now, I bet. This one I'm a little bit saddened about. But it is what it is. Speak with Blevins about providing her some backup. We need some medical supplies. Also, a repair kit would be pretty nice. Uh, we've cleared out that medical place right there. Almost done. Pretty much picking up these plate hearts and when we get the medical supplies we need, which we will probably at some point get to the point to where we could uh, craft a bunch of plate cures, crates of plate cure, if you will. We have food. And we have ammo. We don't have to worry about power, so we could get medical supplies, uh, materials, and what's the other one? Medical supplies, materials, and I think that enclave's done for now. I think that enclave, there's nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. I think it's just gonna be stuck there. I could be mistaken. I don't like how far, how close they are.
Really? Feel a little bit aggravated about those misses. But we can talk to the person, the survivor in need first, because they're right there. All right. There's also a part of me that wants to loot this area. I'm not going to fast search. I refuse right now to fast search. I don't feel like dealing with any more. Seriously, this is it? I have to use, like, uh, stamina and health regains in the future for sure. M17 9 millimeter Not exactly what I intended to do. Oh, very nice. These people are people that I denied their first request on. It's funny. I could do that. Or we could go in the exact opposite direction. And help out with that survivor. If they die, that would suck. Don't you tell me what to do? Wolverine squad. Well, we've almost got that other weapon. I've got a job for you, if you can handle it. Oh, that's okay. Because you can only have one enlisted follower at a time. And we are good. <laughs> All right, we'll deal with that after we deal with uh, Blevins the Blue Gray Garage. So glad that you can flip over your vehicle, first of all, and second of all, that it doesn't like do a ridiculous amount of damage while it's flipped over. That'd be so sad. You know how many vehicles I would have blown up by now? I haven't blown a single vehicle up yet. Or destroyed a single vehicle. I think I've seen a completely destroyed vehicle. We needed to do the active bounty thing. Here we are. 
It was a little nerve-wracking, but you know what? Found 22 ammunition, so that's pretty cool. This might be too much to carry. Well, experiment experience with guns is up. Sword play is the only one that I'm missing. Let's back to the base. This should make us friendly, hopefully. Okay, you're here. I see you. It does. Sure thing. Later. Come on in. 1911 pistol. Hey. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Classic. How much influence we got? 2300. Hitting the bell doesn't cost ammo, does it? I mean, not that I really mind too much if it does. But it would be a great way to grind out influence. Please. Thank you. How much more can this take? Ooh, okay, we need to be careful here. I'm assuming that in the future the 22 is not going to be enough. How much gas you got? Hmm. If I find a gas can, maybe. Just maybe if I find a gas can will I take that truck instead of the truck that we currently have. I can't carry that much. Lots of seeds. Lots of seeds. All right, well, deal with you later. There's probably going to be gas in there, isn't there? Watch this. That was blinding me a little bit. Of course. Of course. Of course. Screw it.
there anything else we can take with us? Worst case scenario, I could just eat these stamina snacks or drop them. Why? 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 What did I ever do to you? I'm just gonna ignore his ass. For you to tell me to start working. <laughs> Come over here, will you? Stand guard, hell yeah. We're good. No more Zeds in sight. Two minutes. Well, that's just annoying. <laughs> we killed them so hard they disappeared. part about this that was the last one is this is still going like while she's helping us she's still Get, let me let me Yep, I'm all done here. Good work. You might even be able to join us someday. Let me see what you got. Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 I wanted to see what that weapon was. Oh. I got cheated. I got cheated? I got cheated. That was a uh, Cleo weapon, and fuck, 
I need to always make sure I trade with enclaves first. Ooh, this could come in handy. I'm blaming you for this, Grant. You've soft locked my game. So now I need to literally. I, mm. So I need to close out of the game and open it back up. I don't even know if you're still here, but just the fact that you showed up at all has caused this. I haven't had that, that happen one time yet. But you come in to see how Apex is doing, and then I switch over to State of Decay, and the game soft locks because I actually did pick up that gun, but it wasn't registering that I picked up that gun. So when I tried to loot the other thing. God, that's so loud. Hopefully we didn't lose a lot of progress, if any. We got about an hour, an hour and a half left before I gotta wrap up for the evening. I love how now that I've, somebody informed me of that tip that I, uh, I now I'm aware of it. Oh god, how far back did we... There we go. The RTX Cyclone is a... Oh, it's not a Chloe. It's a shotgun. It's a sidearm shotgun. That's coming with us on the hardest difficulty. Garden facility. We could either sell or scrap, I think. Oh, my car, that's why we can't see shit, because the car's not that's pretty heavy. telling me what's up. Also, medical supplies is exactly what I wanted. Lots of medical supplies. Can be. Give me the burninator, please. We're going to drop off everything we currently have access to. Yeah. We'll drop everything off and then we'll go from there. We got five minutes of no driving, so that means we're literally going to be standing here for five minutes. I hope you know that. I mean, oh, oh, you cheeky, you cheeky son of a bitch. Well, let's go get ourselves an upgrade. Yeah, I know. I don't have I don't have uh my notifications on Discord stuff turned on. So like 
in case there was ever a situation where somebody wanted to was spamming calls, not that that was what you were doing, but like, say I'm streaming and then somebody keeps calling me and calling me and calling me and it just keeps ringing and I'm like, not wanting to talk. You know what I mean? First of all, second of all, it is one of those things where uh, there are some days where no matter what, I will not feel up to talking to people. Plus, the later it is, the more unlikely it is that I could... Like, today is one of those days where I'm going to be calling it early. So, like, in an hour and a half from now. I mean, I got... Yes, I can... I think I can be convinced to talk for a little bit just to say, hey, talk a little bit, why not? Uh, but yeah, I, I do have, like, what, an hour and a half before I have to call it today. Uh, let me open up my Discord, first of all. I had Discord closed because if I have anything else open besides Apex Legends when I'm streaming, it will be a laggy mess, even if it is just Discord that's open. It's opening right now. All right, there it is. There it is. It's open. Give me one second. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? I can kind of hear you. What? Talk again? Oh, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello? No? Hello, hello. Test, test, test. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hmm. How about now? Can, nope. What? Test, test. I, I have no idea why it's doing this. Uh... I... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So if I join... King Squad. Test, test, test. What the fuck now? Test, test, test. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed.
Test, test. Test, test. Nope. Nope. Test, test, test. Nope, hell no. Hello? Oh. Oh. You want to know what the problem is? I figured it out. I figured it out. Because I have my controller plugged in. If I unplug my controller. And then I accept the call. Hello? There we go. Now yeah. I can hear. Yeah. It's because I had it's because I had my controller plugged in. Hey, well you got the problem working. I mean you got it fixed. I do, I had to unplug it for now I'm using gotcha. keyboard and mouse. Also, technically it has been over five minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out of my vehicle though for a little bit longer than I did because we got interrupted. But yeah, how you been lately? I've been doing pretty good. Been thinking about streaming Let It Die, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I mean if you uh want to and you'll have fun with it of course go for it yeah you know I've got, I've got this silver scythe to plus three nearly nearly uncapped i think i don't know yeah that is probably worthwhile to go for the silver scythe and then get it uh and then i think i'm gonna go for the yo-yo yeah the yo-yo is fun yo-yo is fun it's a little bit interesting to get used to but you can probably take multiple people on at the same time if you get them in a line with each other. Well, no, the yo-yo is good for um, one of the jackals. I forget which one, but it's perfect for it. Uh, probably the one with the machete. I was about to say, probably X. Because I think X is weak against blunt. Hey, do you know if I... Twitch streamer named Thade? Can't say that I do. Here, I'll go ahead and type in the name. He's pretty cool, too. Have to check him out at some point. Uh... Okay. Okay, type it in. broadcasting live from my new improved location. Now, I'm only here thanks to the hard work and sacrifices made by others in the... I'll have to check that out. Uh... Critical, my friends. Either off-stream or... Maybe at the end of the evening. Alrighty. Oh god. Oh god. So this you don't do weird. voice calls too often, do you? Not really. What I have a tendency to do is, like, if I'm playing something like Enlisted, uh, and people want to play with me, or people want to play with me, I have a couple of Discord channels in the the, the community Discord ah, yes. that people can join up on. I do a couple of calls here and there. What games do you have? That way, if it's multiplayer, I can play along with you. Oh. A lot. Like, they range from Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. We got I got a couple of the Halo games. Well, I got the collection of Halo, thanks to Grant gifting me them. I gotta play those at some point. Hey, uh, did you know? Like, you know Skyrim, right? Yes. There's a mod that allows co-op. Yeah, we yep. should do that one time. That would be pretty fun. I've never really done a modded run on stream before of Skyrim. Yeah, and just have viewers that have the game join in and do a dungeon. That would be, that would be crazy. Fun! Yeah, I have, crazy. Get, I have to get my mod working. Like, I, I uninstalled it, right? But mm -hmm. when I reinstalled it and tried to get it working, I forget the error that shows up, but I'm gonna go ahead and type it in, see if I can 
get the error to show up again? Maybe you know how to get rid of it. Uh. So this is a modded version of Skyrim. Is this for the co-op mod or? Yeah, Harbor. Okay. Whenever I install Harbor, there's an issue with it. I don't know why. But hang on, let me get it again. Alright. I was just lowering you a little bit on my end. There we go. Yeah, it's so weird playing this with, uh... Hold on. If I were to... This is me testing something. If I were to now plug in my controller, is it going to completely mess everything up or no? Let's find out. It shouldn't. Hello? Yes, it does. It does. It does. Okay, that's dumb. That's hello? Yeah, that's dumb. It does. It does oh, mess really? it up. Yep. I wonder why. Because the controller has a microphone installed into it and for some odd reason when the controller's active, it basically makes that like the primary thing. I'm glad it doesn't do that for streaming. That'd be annoying. Okay, I got the error to show up again. Whenever I go to install it, right, it says installation aborted. Setup was not completed. Successfully. I don't know why. So this is for the mod or the game itself? The mod. Uh, is there a way to uninstall it? Like to, to uninstall? Do you have a mod loader? Uh, no, I don't have it in a mod loader right now. I'm not 100% sure there then. Hang on, if I go back here. Try it one more time. I had the thought who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. I wonder if she made it this long. These folks are kind of growing up. Okay, I'm trying something out real quick. Can't do that. <laughs> I need to learn the controls of this. Uh... Oh, you know another really cool idea? Yeah, what? If you were to play Let It Die, right? I think I've said it to you before. You play Let It Die, and then you have your screen, and you have my screen on your stream. And I do the same for you? That would be a cool thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, Show uh... The progress? That, that would be cool. I've, I've not really... Like, unfortunately for me and Let It Die, I've... I'm very frustrated with that game right now, so I'm taking a little bit of a break from it. Oh yeah, I still got a couple of rage moments from you that I clipped. Oh yeah. And I'm oh, glad yeah. I did. The rage, the rage is pretty good. Kills in radio menu is V. Oh, you're not used to playing on mouse and keyboard, are you? Well, no, not this game at least. probably get working on that yeah you probably yeah. should let's see if we can actually save your aunt this time because what's really funny is i've had two quests in this game hey, so that have repeated it too, uh repeated as in like the the aunt the aunt quest mm -hmm. right i've done this one before and there was another one that i did recently which was save your brother-in-law whatever who was a police yeah. officer and in the first time, in the first playthrough that I did it, the aunt was dead and the police officer lived. And in this one, I'm hoping it's going to be the opposite. No idea, though. This game? Uh, a couple years. I'm not sure. Like, uh, State of Decay 3 is almost out. Ooh, another really cool game I have to play again. What's that? Probably have to get a PS2 emulator okay. for it, but it's an old Tekken game. Yeah, I mean, uh... I, Duck Station is... Is anyone in here? 
Mark started a fight. I know that was about me. Wanna come say that to my face? Oh my god. Huh. Would you look at that? But yeah, like State of Decay 3 is either out or about to be coming out. This was a a free game from Epic a while back, I think. Or it was oh no 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 no. This is what it was. Steam had a free weekend where you could play this game. I played it, enjoyed it so much I said screw it, got it when it was on sale for ten bucks. And I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it for quite some time. Enlisted is another game that I play. Just what I was looking what is for. that game? Like a, a better version of Call of Duty? Uh, well, unless it's a World War II based, uh... More like a better version of Battlefield. Well, what a relief. Uh, okay. Is the I best way that I can word it. Plans. I know the it's new Battlefield that they came out with it, was horrible, out right? Yeah, a lot of people were talking about the, the glitches and whatnot it's it's one of those situations where it was kind of like and that's that how cyberpunk 2077 mm. was like a glitchy mess it was very similar for the new battlefield like mind you at its base it's a good game also fun fact i'm pretty sure the, uh, there are certain quests where I think the only way to progress them, like the only way to progress this, is to switch to a different character back at base. So they could decipher, in quotation marks, the code or whatever. It kind of does suck that it seems like there's not a lot of variety of quests. There's not much to do then? Well, there's a lot to do. It's just there's like some of the quests are go to this person, either give them resources, watch yeah, over the person, a specific person while they loot a place. And I say loot in quotation marks because they just stand around the place and move to different locations. Uh, until like a timer's done. Oh, wait, that's not what I'm going to do. And when that timer's over and done with, then yeah, you you succeed in that one. There's a couple of other ones just take out some infestations. Uh, but these quests, are what I'm talking about right here, I literally this is the second game that I'm playing. I'm already doing the same. Like oh, this is a repeated quest, like a quest line, if you. Will. It's it's a bit, it's a bit meh. Yeah, I hate. I hate when games, then when they run out of variety, they start repeating everything. Mm-hmm. But right now I'm just trying to figure out how I can get the installation to work. Yeah, I'm not sure. One of my best pieces of advice is you take the error and you just Google it. That's what I tried doing and I got nothing for it. And I have no idea. It says installation failed. All right, I'm just gonna put it to a different destination. Maybe that will work. I don't know. Uh, normally, like if you have a, a specific folder, like a mods folder, for that. Hey, if you folks aren't too busy, could you maybe lend us a hand? Oh, are you kidding? Okay, I may have to create a mod folder Help then. On the way. Thanks. Yeah, you like normally a mod folder or something like that, because otherwise it's it's weird. Mod, some some games are the most difficult to mod. Like, what do you have to do? Just go into a Skyrim special edition main folder and type mod for a folder? Uh, I. I believe if there's not one already there yeah that's what you have to do one of the again i'm not it's been a long time since i modded the last thing that i modded was the epic games version of grand theft auto 5 epic games mods modding epic games games yeah. sucks 
Really? Yeah. Like, the mods folder method didn't really work, so I had to figure out a way how to work the files into the thing itself, and then, like, some of the mods themselves wouldn't even work. Well, even if they were active, because, like, even if they did work, they weren't active for whatever reason. Uh, what else? Every time I needed to make a, a simple, a simple little change, I had to basically, like, go make sure that the mods would still configure with each other properly and they wouldn't mess up and just a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Mind you, that could just be that it was Grand Theft Auto that's difficult to mod. Yeah. But I think it was the Epic Games version because I was doing research into it and everybody was having difficulty modding the Epic Games version of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Bad news. Our lack of but you know how Epic Games can be though? They don't like ruined. when people mod. Or anything like that, right? I mean, take a look at Fortnite. You mod or you hack, you get banned. Well, that, like, it's a little different for a, a game, like, a, when you're playing online like that. But if you do the solo, like, if you do a solo experience, what you have to do is you have to play an offline mode or disconnect your internet, basically. There's, there's, or go through a proxy. I don't remember how it works or what you do if you want to do certain games modded. But if you go online with a modded game file, you will get banned immediately because of uh, uh, the bot and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, the anti-cheat that they have. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still not getting Harvard to work. I have no idea. And I'm going to the destination where it wants to put it, right? And I'm trying to uninstall something there, but there's nothing popping up for me to even... Uninstall it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're mechanics. I'm teaching our newbie the ropes, or at least that's the idea. And guess what? Remember, I talked uh, about the repetitive oh, quest lines. The Here's another one. Oh man, our truck is trashed. Let's hope they the have yet another there. one. So you're like a car mechanic or something? That's right. I want to set up shop and get some of the busted cars around here working again. Got to do something, right? Yeah. This must be what we're looking for. I will say on a side note, this is hilarious. That's Are you ready for this? See. I got the quest to go get the recover the parts from their busted up truck. Their busted up truck is li literally right in front of their home. Really? Yeah. So. Oh, you know what I can do? I I don't know why I didn't think of this. Thanks. Oh my god. All right. Oh god. Uh, we're telling me to install, right? Yeah. I can just create a folder. Of that name, and then it should work. Maybe. I'm running out of ideas. The other piece of advice I can give is like Google the mod that you're trying to install, and instead of saying like it's having an install issue or something like that, you could say like this mod won't install instead of saying what the issue like what the the uh, error message is if it's if you're still having trouble with it oh hey. and i've done that too and i've still got nothing let's do some business so i've hmm. done yeah, pretty much right. everything you've said i i work. honestly have no idea it's like i've not really modded i have more experience modding xcom 2 than i do uh skyrim for the time being like, I'll probably I get more experience in the future. Hopefully this will... There we go. Now to fix that. Come on, everyone. Is it just the uh, multiplayer mod? Yeah. Are other mods giving you the similar issue? No. Do you have other mods? I do not. Okay. 
put up with all of the mods before, and none of them gave me the shown how to count. The only thing I could think is to like try and work with a clean install, like the game itself, a clean install maybe, and then go from there. I don't, I don't know otherwise. I could do that. I haven't done that yet. I don't. Think. Better not screw around here if I I'm want doing to that avoid now, blood. Yeah, because sometimes even if you like. Recently uninstalled mods or something like that, they may still. Ooh. Um. Location is not a failure. Okay, not a failure. I tried to uninstall it and it Hello? didn't work. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> I'm a little bit aggravated by what just occurred. But okay, sure, why not? Why not? Fine. Be that way. What happened? My truck blew up. Now it's installing, and it should work. You guys want to help me against this, uh, fat fucker? This, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Juggernauts? Oh, he's in the building. In the building? He's in the building. Need some help. Need some help. Need some help. Hey, look at that zombie sumo. Shit yeah, that zombie. that is a juggernaut. Uh, I'm basically waiting for the AI to get a little bit involved. There we go. There we go. You know, I think we get involved if you tickle their pickle. No, these juggernauts are like. End him. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Oh, hey. Yeah, you got messed up from that son of a bitch, unfortunately. You have a game called Dead Rising 2? I, I've heard of Dead Rising and I've watched a little bit of gameplay of it, but I do not currently own it, no. Oh, uh, it's fun, but the online for it, that can be janky. Really? Yeah. Like, it, it's really hard to connect to a match. And if you do, a lot of players will decline your invite or request to join them so hmm. yeah. weird so aggravated about that it's blowing up my truck so i don't lose any ammo i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go There we go. I remember whenever I played Skyrim the last time, I had over 300 mods installed. They were all graphical mods, too. Where am I gonna put them? Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so the game looked completely different. That's the one fun thing about modding. Like, you play the original game after you've modded it for so long, and it's like, what even is this? You're doing pretty good in followers. You're getting a lot. 310? Huh, yeah. That's pretty good. I've only got 30 at the moment. Yeah, the grind. The grind is real. You don't have to, like, the, whatever works best for you, right? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed because I'm pretty sure this is screwed. Oh, never mind. I can repair it. It's going to be out of fuel, though, isn't it? No, it isn't. Okay, I'm going to reinstall the Harbor Mud now. I disagree, but okay. Not to you, to this, but whatever. Oh, it didn't work. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. That's annoying. Found another bloater. Yeah, I have no idea. I gotta watch the noise. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, when I get into modding that game, I'll have to, like, if I get those issues, I'll start to... Modding can be an all-day thing sometimes for games. Right? Yeah. That's the one crappy thing about it. I've installed a harbor many times before, never had that issue, and then I have it now. And I don't know how to get rid of the issue, or how to fix it. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I mean, other than what I've said previously about Googling the issue, Google didn't help you then. Maybe because I reinstalled the game and I launched it one time. Maybe. Then... Does it have any specific instructions where you got the mod from? Well, I'm on GitHub right now. sometimes they have like be it github the workshop uh the steam workshop or what's the other thing the other place where you get a lot of mods from i can't um, think of the name of it nexus mod yeah nexus thank you nexus they sometimes be like hey you specifically need to do this or do this in order to have this work properly because I wouldn't even know where to begin for something like that. Yeah, well, I to try something to make it work. I want to be able to play co-op on it. Yeah, that would be fun. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secure. Alright, so I'm going to launch the game. Maybe that'll make the file I need. Wait, what? This game is so weird sometimes. So, I went to the place where I'm supposed to talk to the survivor, yeah. and it glitched out and teleported the survivor all the way away in the opposite direction where I went from. Our game's weird. Yeah. Hello, why are you move why are you why are you continuing to run why are you running? Why are you running? Get your ass over here. Hey, install. Uh Not set up to install hardware in the following folder. Do I have to put it here? Hang on. Watch yourself. Plague's on. Maybe I need to do it like that. Yeah, the most experience I have with uh Want to trade? Why not? Modding is for sure, for sure, XCOM. Like, you did, fun fact, I know you're working on Skyrim, but fun fact about XCOM modding. Did you know that if you don't have certain graphical issues set properly, like, mods in that game, like 80% of them will not work? Really? Mm-hmm. It's 
annoying and weird. And the, the like the textures, I think it is. I think it's the textures. Textures needs to be set all the way down or mods just, the game just crashes. And it doesn't really matter because the game's graphic, like, graphically doesn't really pay attention to that. Yeah, let me see if I have harbor here. If I do, then I'll just try it uninstalling it. Okay, I have it. Windows cannot find harbor.exe. Did the did the download of the mod mess up? No, but it's saying it can't be installed, right? When I go to the destination of where it can't be installed. There's nothing there, but when I go to uninstall it, Harper shows up, but I can't uninstall it. That's good to hear. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Type it in here, maybe, Harbor. Okay. So it sounds like there's some weird issue with, like, the location of the file. It's in one place, but it thinks you're trying to get it from another. No, when I go to that place of the file, nothing is there. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's supposed to be, but... It acts like it's not. Yeah. Huh. Fucking weird. Maybe if I put it in a different, uh... That might be what... What's being weird about it. Cause so I've weird. had- I've had similar situations happen where if I accidentally install something to the- to one drive, it won't... To the screamer, it won't work. That won't work. Weirdly enough. Oh, you. Okay, so if I go here. And put this drive. Hopefully, that'll keep us for a while. Okay, that did not work here. <laughs> Did you watch the uh, state of play today? What's that? Uh, state of play is. Uh, Sony's way to be like, hey, this is what we have information wise for our games. They were talking about the remake for Resident Evil 4. They oh. talked about the Final Fantasy 16 when it's coming out. It's coming out sometime next year, I think. A couple of other games too. They were talking about. It's a 30 minute. It was a 30 minute thing. I watched it uh, earlier today. Yeah, I missed I a little bit of the Resident Evil 4 stuff though. I don't know how the remake of that a uh, Resident Evil 4 game will be. You know why? Hmm. Thank you. Because, you know the this outfit that Ashley wears in the old Resident Evil? Yeah. A lot of people don't like it, and they've complained about her being too revealing. Of course they would. Other people love it. They have, yeah, have, have you seen, I'm sure you have, but have you seen the mods people have made for it? Yeah. Look at those and then complain about too revealing. Yeah, but... Because if they've complained about it, the people that are going to make the new Resident Evil 4 are going to change the way she looks. And take out the line that she says, or Better that the not guy screw says about, here if I want oh, it looks like you brought the ballistics, right, when talking about a move. They're going to yeah. remove that line. Does that so, stuff doesn't bother me. It sucks that they take away a little bit of stuff like that, but in all honesty, whatever. Mods will probably make it to where they'll put that stuff back in, and... 
do more with it. If people really want to see the original stuff, people will probably mod in those the original, and they'll probably mod in more skimpier stuff than that too. All I all I care about is whether or not it's it stays true to the original, right? And it's good because three, the the Resident Evil three remake, they put out, they like butchered some of the content. They took yeah, out some of the content. I'm afraid they're gonna do with Resident Evil Four. Like, yeah. what if they make it and then the island at the end of the game isn't even there? That could be a possibility. It's something that I'm sure a lot of people are worried about. Honestly. I, I'm the kind of person that's like, yeah, it could happen. But I'm going to be excited for the game, nonetheless. And if they fuck it up, well, it'll be another disappointment to add to the list of disappointments. Yeah, I feel like a lot of companies, when they make a game, they don't focus on the content part of things. They focus on how much money they can get out of it. And that's you know? why they don't make as much money as they thought they would, because they're not focused on making a good game. If you make a good game, well... People will buy it. I'll try and be sneaky so I don't have to fight that juggernaut. Okay, a harbor. I hate that hole. I'm trying everything here and I can't get nothing. Sometimes they have the weirdest, like, the thing that, the last thing you would think of, uh... Are there any comments on the... Well, you got the mod from? Are there any comments on the mod that have a similar issue to what you have? Because I know for a fact people deal with like issues like this in different ways. I like to outsource. I, I look at first thing I do is I look at where I got the mod from and see if there's any additional information or you don't know me yet, but you really want to people have written wrote you. comments about help is on the way people have wrote comments about their, these issues and then I google it if google doesn't have the answer uh, then I do like I do weird google searches about it right or or I go to reddit and stuff like that if I really am not having a good time with it that that is where my brain goes regarding this I was wondering if I had to do a complete clean of my computer, you know, like restart everything, and but I don't want to do that for one mod. Yeah, at that, like, it, it's one of those things where, are there other multiplayer mods? I don't think so. Well. Not for that one. I have no idea then. Is it the version of Skyrim you're trying to run? Is it like some incom weird incompatibility with whatever version you're running? Because sometimes oh, they can update the game and an update will mess things up. Yeah, there's an update for it, but I got the downgrader mod that somebody made. Yeah? And I already did that. Hmm. Anyways, but yeah, Enlisted is a, it's like Battlefield, but here's why I like Enlisted way more than any Battlefield or anything like that. It's free to play, and it's getting consistent updates. Like, literally yesterday, they added uh, binoculars. About time someone finally showed up. What else did they add? They added binoculars, new melee weapons. Uh, they're adding, or they've added... <laughs> The ability to make your own missions and stuff like that so like the community can get really creative with things wow they are adding a lot aren't they oh yeah and they're gonna add more campaign levels and stuff like that in the future you're the boss it's 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 the company that 
uh, is working on that is associated with the same company that made War Thunder. Mm -hmm. And War Thunder is one of my, like, of the PC games that I played before I started streaming. That was one of the, the ones I played the most. What else? Path of Exile. That's a, a multiplayer game. Uh, oh, it can be at least. I know I'm going to be playing Ark Survival Evolved. You're home. I owe you one. And that game. See, what's really funny is I Come in. Make yourself at have home. no idea. Want to trade? Why not? How much? Uh, how what it takes to mod that game? All I know is. One of the buddy who bought, gets the server is uh, the one that like sets it all up. Parts and wits XP. Do we really care about parts income? Modding is fun, huh? Mm hmm. Like for Can every be difficult. game, I feel like it's fun. and it's different for every game too. I'm gonna see how many parts I get from these individuals. More than likely, I'm not going to be worried about that. I'm probably going to recruit one of them. Because parts aren't... They're nice, but they're not... At least on this difficulty. Because I'm playing on standard difficulty. There's a difficulty that's like... The highest difficulty, which is I want to play it. And get what's called legacies in this game. Uh, getting a legacy requires you basically to... Beat the game. Uh, yeah. With a specific leader right and after you do that you can unlock things that you could bring forward in the next game like new game plus almost so if you want to be able to do that on any difficulty level you have to do it at the highest difficulty very similar to intravenous do you have you seen me play any of intravenous or no oh it's a fun one it's it's got a lot of replayability. Okay, I think I went to get mob, right? Yeah. Uh I think if I install one of their folders, I should be able to get Harbor Tool. Gotcha. Hey, how's it hey. going? Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm with the network. Maybe you've heard of us? Let's make a deal. Fine by me. What do we got? We have a bunch of food, right? In this? Project Osiris, dispatch. Yeah, medical school. Code three, four. Exfil en route. Osiris, realign. Copy that. Coated Online is a framework created to enable multiplayer in Skyrim Special Edition and Fallout 4. Do I need a Nexus mod in order for Harvard to work? I would have no idea. In all honesty. I don't... I think I do, but I could give that a try. Yeah, it's one of those things where, honestly, try anything that pops in your mind. Like, even if it's the, that's not going to work. One of those, like, you're, no matter what you, it's not going to work. Like, that's what you're thinking. 
try it? Because it could. Better not screw around here if I want to avoid blood play. Okay, go to the file. Have you heard of Friday Night Funkin'? Friday what? Friday Night Funkin'? What is that? A rhythm game. Maybe? Maybe. Uh, it... Part of it sound like... It kind of sounds familiar, but at the same time... I'd have to, like, look at an ad or something to be like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, when we get off stream, if you want to, I can share my screen and show you the game. Unfortunately, when I get off, I'm probably gonna have to like immediately go to bed because I got stuff I gotta do at 10 in the morning. Actually, right. before 10 in the morning, I gotta wake up at like 9 or some shit. So like, it's clear for now. But in plague territory, I gotta be wrapping up close. at like in a half hour or so from now All right. to an hour from now at most. I'm, I'm all for continuing the conversation. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the issue. You know, when it, it really, really, really sucks when you have an issue and there's nowhere you can go to find out how to get rid of the issue. Nobody mm. home. Let's move on. Or, or my favorite one is when you're looking up the issue and all you get are comments like, "Oh yeah, I have this issue too. I have this issue too. I have this issue too. I have this issue too." You know what I mean? Yeah, and they don't ever explain it. Yeah. I, 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 I want to strangle people, metaphorically, whenever I hear that. It's like, you're not adding anything to the conversation by saying, yes, I too have the issue that you have. I literally had to scroll down That's for something. like uh, a mile, it felt like, on one of these to figure out what the issue is. Oh. That's kind of annoying. Okay, uh, Trouble with Harbor. Uh, so I've accidentally double downloaded the Harbor program required to run Skyrim together. Uh, some issues no longer Trying to uninstall. Oh, okay, they have the issue too. Huh? We're getting somewhere. Possibly. One person put, the only thing I can think of is person for double download, your system isn't registering that it exists. Uh, first and foremost, double check your general add slash remove program settings on your PC. Uh, if Harbor isn't there, run control panel and click programs and features to see if Harbor shows up there. Interesting. So, control panel. Are you in here? And then click on program. Ah, okay. Let me see if it shows up here. And it does show up here. Can I uninstall it? An error occurred while oh, trying to uninstall Harbor. Would you like to? Maybe that worked. Because it removed something. That would be cool if it did. Oh my god, it worked. Hey, there we go. I got some stuff to trade. All right. That's a grenade launcher. Power of the internet. Amazing, right? And what's really, really amazing is with how many more people use the internet, more people will, uh... More people will what? The more people that use the internet, the more, like, easier it'll be to find issues like stuff like that. Yeah. Man, it took forever, but I finally got it.
And, okay, it's working perfectly now. Now you've got to get Skyrim together. Of course, when I get in the, uh, the mood slash mindset to get into Skyrim, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really gonna use this right now? I guess it's never too late to learn something new. Glad you didn't use a grenade launcher on that. That would have been very upsetting. But yeah, uh, I, I don't know when I'll be playing Starm. Well, whenever you do, I have it ready to go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that'll be weird. Fun, but weird. What, playing together? Yeah. Yeah, we can make a, we can make yeah. a new character and like, do all the story missions. Oh, yeah. And like, in my mind, I'm like, what do I want to go for? Do I want to go like a support type character? Or do I want to go with like uh, a tank, a melee? Like, ooh. Get me a bit excited. Get me a bit excited there for the potential that is. Yeah, and then like, you know, one of the end missions, right? Where you can uh, go to Sovngarde. Yeah. You can, do a, you can do a command on here where you can teleport to a player. Oh, okay. So, like, if you can't find me, you can teleport to me. Well, I don't think it would be that difficult to uh, possibly find you because I've played that game so much before I stream, right? Like, if I could, if I could look at like plug in my PlayStation and look up how many hours do I have in this game? It would be probably more than I have in XCOM 2 and Let It Die combined, which is over a thousand hours. You know, I think if I do want a character build, I'm gonna go for some kind of archer or a two-handed uh, character. Not two-handed, but... Uh, I know what you're saying. You're saying like... Do wield. Yeah, dual wield. Dual wield, I always loved. Dual wield axes was one of my go tos. Dude, if you have wind shear no, and you have the quite a load. Maroon's Dagon Razor, or whatever it's called, that dagger that can one shot. You want to hear? That other... Yeah, you want to hear something funny about that? What? I did uh, my last playthrough of that, which was a couple years ago, I think. I did a artillery strikes. What? Anyways, I did a uh, exploit playthrough, which was the first time and only time I've ever exploited Skyrim. And I did it to where, like, my armor was ridiculous. Uh, I could regenerate super, super fast with my health. And my attack speed was ridiculously high. And when I did the, the, the whirlwind attack thing, it, like... Obliterated. Obliterated. Even the toughest enemy. You know what I've done before? Hmm. I have done a melee build with the Khajiit and the gloves where you do more damage with hitting with your face. That is fun to do but hard. Well, you can probably make it a little bit quote unquote easier or balanced on you if you were to, uh, Get mods that make it to where you could disenchant anything, because I don't know if you can disenchant the pugilist gloves. Oh, hey, you know what we need to do? Hmm. We need to get a bunch of mods installed, right? And then when we do that, put all of the mods into a folder, and then put it up for either like a... one of us to download, right? And then yeah. we can download it and share the same thing. Yeah. Well, I think if you do uh, together, you either both have to have the same mods, or I don't know. We don't have to have the same mods. Well. Hmm. 
not wrong. Like if you if you have a mod where you have a iron sword that changes, right? You'll be able to look at that, but I won't. It'll be normal for me. Well, I'm not talking about like visual mods. I'm talking about like game changing mods potentially. Ah, okay. Like something that might add in more dragons or different dragons. Probably would be a better idea not to put those mods in at all. And try to keep as much of a, a base install as possible. But, I don't know. I don't know what would and wouldn't work with co-op. And you know what you can do, too? Hmm. On Skyrim together, you can make a private server with a password. You can just tell me that, and then I can get into the server. True. True. Yeah, I have no idea. I have like a, a it's definitely not going to be some in July. Like I will not be playing Skyrim in July. August, I think I have to do, well not have to, but uh August I'm going to be doing a What's it called? Dark Souls 3 race, I think. Against, uh... Oh, hell yeah. Whoever decides to join alongside me and Grant. Basically. So, like, if you have Dark Souls 3, and... Would like to see who could... They, we say it's a race, but really what it is, it's... We're playing the game as fast as we can. Well, just having, like, basically a podcast going on. You know, I have that game, but I really do not know where to go in that game. I've only made it to the second area, and I've got confused. That is perfectly fine, because I have never beaten that game. So... I've beaten Bloodborne, if you've played that before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you have Elden Ring? Yes. We should do that. How am I supposed to carry that? At some point, uh, again, it's one of those things where, as fun as that game is, I need to be in the quote-unquote mood to play it. Wow, this is the most ammo I think I've ever had at any one point. 413 shotgun rounds. I will never want for ammo again. Good lord. You knew that I was moving, right? Did I tell you about that? No, this is news to me. Oh, yeah, well, I moved. And I have a Fine. new setup, a new room, that all that. I actually have my second monitor plugged in now. Ooh, I need to get me a second What's monitor up? set up. We got a feral on the prowl. You're in the damn tower. Okay, you're in the damn tower. Got it. But yeah, having like a nice setup and a second monitor is definitely nice to have yeah you don't have to keep looking at your phone the entire time or a tablet or when you're playing let it die right and you have a second monitor to look up what material you need to grab along oh the yeah way. yeah i could definitely see that being useful not even just for let it die for any game that's like that yeah roger, roger. you don't have to look down you can look over and let's see yeah, for me, uh, it's one of those unfortunate things where I actually do have to bring this up a little bit. I'm not going to mention the person by name, but now it just amuses me. When it first happened, it was pissing me off, but now I just it makes me chuckle. Uh, I decided to take a little bit of a break from Let It Die, right? Because I'm not having fun with the game. Yeah. And this one individual who... I was doing a scuffed stream of Deathverse because I was streaming it on my PlayStation 4, so I didn't have the webcam. The microphone quality was bad. Uh, just, a, just a whole list of things, basically, right? That's free on the PS4, right? Yes, they're doing the network tests right now, so the game's not technically out, out yet. Yeah, well, hey, if you, if you log in right now, don't you get a free emote and a free outfit? Uh, you get a couple things that are free, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. 
I know looking at it, it didn't look fun, and the fact they made it a Battle Royale game it just feels like they're trying to compete with other Battle Royale games. You're not wrong. I mean, I had some a good time with it, and there are I did have some issues with it. Basically, it's one of those things where if they didn't fix the issues that I have, I couldn't see myself playing that game. But, like, in my mind, the issues were very fixable issues. Yeah, apparently there's already people cheating on that. It's a network test. How? What? Yeah, people are turning invisible and, like, doing all that stuff. Invisibility- Invisibility is a part of that game. Yeah, but they're doing it right Permanently? when you spawn in. And killing you right when you spawn in. Yeah. Like you can't move. That's something that needs to be rectified no matter what. Or that game will be DOA, dead on arrival. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just mad they made it a Battle Royale game. They should have made it, like, let it die, but co-op. Yeah, a lot of people are similar thoughts, but I knew it was going to be a let it... I, I, me and Logical Beast and a couple other people knew it was going to be a Battle Royale. And some people are all for that, while others are like, really, another Battle Royale? And I understand that completely. Like... Yeah, I mean, you have Fortnite, you have Apex, you have... But here's the uh, thing, it's it's a little bit unique when it comes to Battle Royales because there's it's just melee based, right? Well, in, wait, in the trailer, right? They had a gun you could use, right? Uh, in the trailer they did, but they took that away, basically. What you have is you can, like, shoot out a bolt from your sh Like, instead of using your shield, you can launch your shield at an enemy. The only problem with that, though, is it, uh... It, it's not that effective against other players. Yeah. But I'm sure with due time, they're going to change a lot of things up with it. Hopefully. Any more Zeds moving in around here? We might want to move out. In Skyrim, what's your favorite build oh, to run? Can I really? What? What, what was that? Sorry. Skyrim, In favorite. Skyrim, what's your favorite build to run? Well, I've primarily have always ran uh two wheel build builds, right? Yeah. Recently, I did a, I say recently, this was like a year or so ago, I did a stealth build, not an archer stealth build, a stealth archer, like a stealth dagger build with a little bit of archery. Uh, I've never done a magic playthrough, which magic's kind of weak in that game. Like the destruction yeah. magic, I mean. Yeah, you'd be surprised though, like the calm spell and the fear spell. Oh yeah, those? They're, you see that zombie? They're overpowered. Yeah. Because what you can do, you can power attack an enemy, calm the enemy, power attack it again until they die. Nice. Like, yeah, it's completely overpowered. Uh... Yeah, I've, I've played with a lot of different types of magic and stuff like that, but my favorite, my go-to build is dual wield. I, I'm thinking the next time that I do it, I might want to do heavy armor two-handed. I've done that before. I like the ebony mail armor with dual wielding. Ah. The, uh, the ebony blade. Oh yeah. Do you ever get that one leveled up the max? Yeah, but do you know how to glitch through at the beginning of the game to get it with two platters? No, I do not. But that's interesting. It figures that a speedrunner would know. <laughs> hey, cool. Pretty much, if you get two platters, right, you can use Screamer. the platters no. in a Screamer certain there. area and glitch yourself through the wall to go in the room to get the blade. 
Then once you get the blade, use another platter, glitch through the wall again, fall through the map, and end up at the very start of that castle where you can walk out the door. Oh! Okay. I think you need three in total, but you can do it. I've done it before. I've gotten cool. it as a level one. Probably messes up the quest, yeah? I haven't actually tried activating the quest. Not while doing that. That's something that that's something that I always love testing out if it messes up the quest or not. You would assume it would mess up the quest. You wanna know something really cool? Cool. If you go in the DLC area, right, and kill the netch and get the netch jelly, you know yeah. the thing that'll paralyze you? If you use that right when you're about to hit the ground after falling from a really okay. high distance, now you're not going to take damage. Your, your character will bounce up, but it, they won't take damage. I did not know that. That is actually really cool. Yeah. Like, they'll bounce up and then go in the animation where they're getting up, but they won't take damage. Cool. Yeah, well, hey, if we ever do Skyrim together, you know what build I'm gonna run? Uh. Okay, we're here. I have no idea. I'm gonna do an archer build. Yo, zombie hanging on. Watch it, you got a zombie. I'm gonna be behind with the bow. That sounds interesting. Oh, it's interesting. I'm a really good shooter, too. I've done things where. Uh, I shoot them so far away, like I'll shoot it here, right? And I'll teleport to that location. Right when I teleport, they drop dead. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, you can just pull some awesome things off with the archery. Yeah. I like the slow time shout too, where you can just shoot them all while the time is slowed down. And they all drop after the... Yeah, the timing, timing stuff, like timing, uh, range stuff is awesome. Much of One of the reasons why I love, uh... Take it easy. Snipers are like my favorite you know I help too, right? Hello? things to use. Hang out for a bit. Good to see you. Let's make a deal. Sure, why not? You, you're not going to believe what happened. Oh? So, there is a streamer I watch, right? He did Den Tengoku for the first time today. Okay, and you know what happened? Got like to 100? He got a Tengoku blueprint, the Hellhound. Of course. RNG, man. You gotta love RNG. Yeah. And, uh, it took me forever to get the Dominion. I didn't, I didn't get a single... A single thing, Goku. Unfortunately. Oh, shit. But yeah, no, my, my uh, schedule of games, the next, like, hype thing that's coming up soon is going to be Ark Survival Evolved on the 12th of this month. And then I'm pretty much going to be playing that with a couple of my buddies on stream. I'm probably, like, Ark's probably going to be the only game that I played for the first couple of days the new map comes out. July is going to be the Metal Gear. Basically, I'm just going to gush about Metal Gear Solid and the lore of that game and all that for the whole month of July. Or at least most of it. Yeah, and if, when you stream that game, I'll definitely be watching. Oh, it's not... I'm definitely going to say it's not going to be a speedrun at all, but I am going to go in-depth with the lore. There's probably going to be some spoilers, so if you've never experienced that game and you yourself want to experience it, then you might not you might want to not tune in but if you do tune in i will be able to give you an in-depth an in-depth look at all of the things 
basically. You know another really cool game that I think would be fun to stream, at hmm. least for like the people watching. Undertale, or Deltarune. Oh yeah, I played through Undertale. That is a fun game. I, I did... This was before uh, I started streaming. I was able to play through the entirety of Undertale. And I did everything. I, I did a pacifist run. I did a, a genocide run. Uh, Deltarune, I've not played or watched anything about. Oh, um, October. October, I'm gonna... I don't know when it's gonna be or what it's gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna be playing through the Bioshock series and... Dead Space 2. I know, when I played the game, I couldn't get into it. I like watching people, but when I play it, I, like, I don't get that same feeling. You know? Sorry, what was that? I can watch people play Bioshock, but whenever I play it, I don't get that same feeling, like, when I watch it. Oh, interesting. Alright. What's the game that you enjoy watching? What I enjoy, like, is it that I enjoy watching but not playing? Right. Um... Ooh, that's a, that's a... I think my go-to is a lot of horror games where you cannot fight back. Like, what I mean by that is my favorite type of horror game, or my favorite horror game of all time is Dead Space. Right? Dead Space 1. And you could become so, like, you could play through that game so many times, become such a badass, there'd still be moments in that game that would make me tense and make me, like, have that response, that, that like, oh, I'm afraid, kind of thing. That feeling, if you will. Yeah. Uh. But even even like with Alien Isolation, it's a it's a game, it's a horror game where you can fight back to a certain extent. I'm afraid of in that game for a couple of hours, and then my brain realizes that the existence of the alien is like to prevent you from progressing, basically. And then I just become angry when I die. I don't even, like, maybe I'll get a jump here and there. But those types of games are my favorite to watch, but not my favorite to play. You know? Yeah. What's up? Uh... If anyone over there is listening, we could use some help. What do you think I should stream? Like, do you have any ideas or recommendations? I mean... It's one of those things where a game that you want to play, of course, first of all, if you if you want to be a variety streamer, uh, if if you're looking for games that would potentially get a bunch of people to show up, stuff like Let It Die, XCOM 2, uh, I know Minecraft would be one of them. Minecraft potentially possibly possibly it all depends basically the way that like I always go on what I want to play right and if people show up cool in my mind if they don't eh, cool You know I'm thinking with Minecraft if I ever were to do something like that to do a, a world and should probably get working on that stay in that world only for twitch you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, of course I've, uh, the, the kingdom, I have a, a, a game, like a build like that, that I do, I call it the kingdom, and basically it's a mega build that I've kind of had to take a little bit of a break from, because until I get an upgrade, I can't play that game and stream it, because it'll crash my PC. Ain't that some shit. I'm running out of steam. Can't you downgrade it then, like the graphics? Oh yeah, no, no, the or... graphics were downgraded. It's it's just that uh, my RAM. It's oh, okay. I need a RAM upgrade. You want to hear something about my computer? Uh... I had to get an upgrade for my computer, right? And uh, when they were shipping it at the time, they broke it upon shipping, so they refunded me everything, and I got a new computer, a better one. 
Oh, that would be aggravating. Well, I was aggravated until I went from an RTX 2080 to an RTX uh, 3070. Okay, better. Yeah. But they broke it. <laughs> Wait, they break the other one too? Or no? Just the first no, one? No, no, they, they broke the old one and I was mad when that happened. Oh yeah, I would have been in furious. If they replaced it, that'd be cool. As long as I could get the information off of it, off this PC, I'd be less angry. But you know what they, you know what they Ooh. tried to do though? No, they probably tried not to take credit for it and tried to just be like, "That's on you." Right. They yeah. tried not to take credit for it and say, "Hey, you have to pay for a new one." And then when we really got onto them, then they were like, "Okay, we'll just refund everything." But they didn't want to. Yeah, that's how companies oh, work. Man, is that a screamer? Unfortunately, companies would do everything in their power to not pay, including insurance companies, right? If they could find a way to not have to pay you, well, up oh shit, you're not getting paid. Yep. What's hilarious to me is, I know what, uh, I know what we're doing right now in this game, this mission, because... The last time I did it, it gave us a vehicle. So, that's why I'm not taking a vehicle right now. Well, hey, if I can like, come up with more ideas for Skyrim, what we can do in multiplayer that we wouldn't be able to do in solo, I will, because I definitely want to do that. I want to play Skyrim with somebody, with somebody and stream it, you know? Hell yeah! Again, it's probably going to be a while before I get the itch to play Skyrim, unfortunately. Oh, I bet that thing still runs. <clears throat> yeah, do you know if, uh... Logical? Oh my God, do you know if he has it? Um... I, I couldn't say, I couldn't say. She is, I, I don't she think so, though. We'll put this a good use. Oh, if he did, we could all three play. Could you imagine that? Bit. That would be kind of crazy, hey. kind of cool. You can have up to eight people uh, joining. I don't even want to know what makes the air taste so bad. Eight? Up to- whoa, whoa, whoa. Up to eight? Yeah. I'm actually kind of speechless. That's a lot more than I thought. I was thinking maybe like four at most. Eight? Yeah, Holy you know crap. What? You can have up to eight people, but they're thinking about trying to find a way to add more than that. I have no... Uh, that's... insane. Yeah, modders are crazy. Modders. Better at making... networking... than Fallout 76. Or whatever it's called. Oh, I got that game because a friend gifted it to me, wanting Ooh. me to play it. I hate that. Yeah. At least you didn't pay any money for it. Sucks that right. your buddy did. He loved that game, even when everyone else didn't like it. He loved it. Hey, good for them then, you know? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah, of course. What do you got for me? Oh, we get more ammo income? Holy shit, hold on. Unless this is something I already get. Oh, crap. No, we're actually getting plus four ammo per day. This is going to be an insane amount of ammunition we're getting. But we're not going to ever want for ammo. Did you know, uh, <laughs> magic leveling it up can be very, very overpowered. All you need is soul trap and a dead horse, and you need to keep using that in, uh, magic spell on the dead horse and you'll level up your magic oh yeah, 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 yeah. yep yep I've, I've heard about that 
yeah, you can level up your conjuration really quickly that way. There's a couple of other things too. Uh, and the, when you get the upgrade for the Dark Brotherhood, if you... I actually did do this uh, off-stream. It was hilarious. If you uh, get those captives that you interrogate or torture or whatever it is, and you want to upgrade your destruction magic and your healing at the same time, you can. Basically what you do is you take a rubber band, you make sure you don't have any upgrades on destruction magic, you use, like, the weakest destruction magic you can do, you aim at a individual, the, the person that, that the, the torture victim that's chained up on the wall in the Dark Brotherhood's upgraded thing, in Dawnstar I think it is, and you simultaneously do destruction magic damage to them, while restoring their health. Oh. And yeah. It's hilarious. You could do something similar uh with early on. I think if you join the what are they called? If you if you side with the Stormcloaks, right? And you pick up the key before Roloff does. And prevent him from being able to move forward. You can upgrade one-handed, two-handed, fire mat, uh, like fire damage. If you have, like, if you went with that class that has those spells, by attacking Roloff. And they, yeah, and I've he, done that too. Yep. You can also do it where if you're behind him, you can kind of nudge him in a in like a corner, right? You can Sneak me. behind him and keep doing a sneak attack and get your uh, sneak to So wander. nice to see you. Good to see you. Really? Take it easy. Interesting. Yeah, like if, if the eye closes behind him, you can keep sneak attacking and level up that. Stealth, stealth and stuff like that's actually really pit pocketing. I've never really leveled up a lot of pit pocketing. Unfortunately, I don't know a good way to grind that out. I know there is one. Uh, did you know? Oh, shit. Did you know that there's a way to get an unlimited supply of amp, uh, arrows? Yeah. Yep. How do you do it? You just pick up the guard and the solitude, take the arrows they have, trade it for the ones you have, the powerful ones, give them one, yep. and then they keep shooting. Yep. I keep this up. I've done it with Daedric arrows and dragon. Give me a second, I'm in kind of focus mode. That one needs Alright, what was that? Remember the mission, it's a bunch of vampire hunters, you join up with them, and then eventually you get to a part where you have to get a bow, right? Oh, yeah, 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 those, those arrows, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's there's something else too. I remember I joined up uh on the vampire side of thing, not the vampire hunters. The next time I play that game solo, I'll have to do the opposite. Uh, I'm hoping to make a trade. 
Interested? All right. Yeah. The vampire hunting, the vampire stuff was pretty cool, pretty fun. Didn't yeah, Laura I mean, Bailey do the voice of Serena? I think. You looking to trade? Yeah, sure. I'm starting to see the benefit of settling down with Whenever the right I people. do that mission again, though, or that uh, that whole thing, I'm gonna have to join up with the vampires, and Thanks. you're gonna have to join up Tell with uh, the vampire hunters. Let's get oh, so like a like a PVP type thing? Yeah, you wanna do that and Skyrim Ooh. together? Ooh, that might be interesting. Oh, that might be really interesting. And do the same. Uh, do this. Would that work? We'll have to. We'll have to experiment and see if it will, won't we? Yeah, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. If we cross paths and we try to avoid or kill one another. We don't. We like just. Ooh, I, I I think the first time doing it co-op, like doing way. everything together, would be pretty fun. And then the next time, like streaming on our own, not talking to each other, and like having stuff set up to where we couldn't see name tags and stuff like that, that'd be like, and maybe even having it to where other people could join as well, and be like what up, a potential I'm threat back. or something like that. Got my aunt to thank for the yeah, because the there spot. are some missions where you have to go to the somewhere. same location, so eventually we would meet up with one another. Like a temporary truce till we get done with what we need to get done with and then move on from there. Right. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, yeah, that would be interesting. Nice. Or we could have like two other people that join us right there. Dragonborns in the game and just go in a group together and annihilate everything. Like, you shouts and whatever. Yeah. Oh god. Combination shouts would be crazy. But yeah, that uh, that's that that would be fun. Or if you really wanted to, because I know how obsessed you are with uh, the whole fishing thing. Oh we God. Fish. True. They do. They with the anniversary edition, they do have fishing added. But then again, with the anniversary edition, I don't think it'll work, right? Because the Skyrim together is made for the version, the older version. Yeah, they'd have to uh. Make a Skyrim together anniversary or something like that. Or we could just find a mod that involves fishing and we could both download it. True. So this I mean, weapon is ways, pretty awesome. There are ways of getting around it, but yeah, we could do a bunch of different things, especially with mods involved. Pretty much the sky's the limit. Yeah. We need to do a fuel run, but without spending a lot of fuel. No you know what would be really funny to do? Hmm. Um, get a mod where you can pick up a giant's club and then whack each other with it. Oh, God. Did you know you can get your follower? If you get a certain follower, you can get them to pick it up. And use it for a weapon. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've done it before, and every hit they do, it's over 100 damage. Every hit they 
That is crazy. That explains why it does what it does. They can't launch people, but they can Radio hit them for a lot. So oh, that's a shame. The launching, the launching is half the fun, you know. Yeah, we could hit each other and probably launch each other. Could you imagine we do like a jousting event on a horse and have the giant's club in our hand? <laughs> oh lord. Or we go into town of white run and just kill every person. Just do a uh uh murder hobo run. Yeah, a genocide run. Oh like, lord. Kill everything. All right. Fortunately, I am going to have to be wrapping up here. Alrighty. Well, uh... Normally I'd be going for another, like, three hours in this game, but... Fortunately, something came up and I have to take care of that. You're going to be streaming tomorrow, right? Uh, every day. Every day for the year of 2022. At least for an hour. Alright, well, hey, if I get you live again, we should go in a voice chat and talk more about the ideas of what we can do in Skyrim together. Potentially, it depends on what's going on because i might at the time i'm playing enlisted i'm probably going to be in a call with other people at that time because like if i'm co-oping with people that's going to be kind of the main focus of that you know mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> crap you know what i thought of just now hmm if we do end up doing something where you join the vampires and I join the vampire hunters, I find freak zombies. If we do have to fight each other, we can craft a bunch of invisibility potions and yeah, like get the upper hand on each other doing that, or oh. shoot each other with an arrow. Oh yeah, that'd be. I wonder if some of the like spells and stuff would work too, or they no? Should. I know the I know the paralysis one. If you do it on a oh, player, God. it'll work on them. <laughs> I have to say, you're. I have, I'm gonna keep this close to my pocket. I'm gonna keep some information close to my pocket that you may or may not be aware of. But there's some certain things that I know would be absolutely annoying that I could come up with. I swear to God, if you have a paralysis potion and you put that on an arrow and shoot me with it, oh, well, just, I'm giving you ideas. Well, it's not even just that. It's, I've have ideas that you'll probably never even think of, and when I pop it, you'll be like, "What just happened?" Well. You see, you see, I was a young warthog. I came up with this kind of stuff all the time to, to cheese the enemies. But yeah, I'm going to uh, disconnect the call and do my little ending spiel. Then I'm going right. to go to bed. Um, Tomorrow I'm starting with Grand Theft Auto Vice City, going into Enlisted, and then playing... Path of Exile to wrap up. And on the weekends, what I do is I edit for a couple of hours. And then play a game. And I think it's going to go Enlisted and then Path of Exile, Saturday and Sunday. Alrighty. Good talk. Yeah, I'm not going to keep you up longer than you want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the call. Alright. Bye-bye. Bye. That was fun. I I do enjoy having conversations like that. Uh, I'm gonna do my industry like I said, and then I'm gonna wrap up. I'm tired, and it's probably a good thing that I am tired. So, <clears throat> for those of you that are currently watching on YouTube, I do thank you for stopping by, and I do hope you enjoyed your stay. If you haven't are new here, be sure to become a citizen today via subscribing to this channel as well as my main channel. Links will be down in the description below through all my links and streamer links. Where you can catch me on all of my associated sites via Twitch, where you can follow me over there and catch me when I go live at 6pm EST EDT every single day, at least for the year of 2022. 
highlight watchers exclamation point links in the chat like so in order to get the same links I mentioned previously uh, other sites like other associated sites you can find over there uh, invite link to the community discord where you can always get the most accurate notifications of whenever I do go live if I'm going to be late to the stream if I'm going to stream early or what have you my Twitter where I pretty much only post whenever I'm going live maybe once in a while I'll post like hey I'm with this or that whatever uh, some referral links to some survey sites that I use and Yeah. Whatever else catches your fancy. Uh, with all that said and done, that is going to be it for me for the time being. So, until next time, take care and have a good one. Bye bye.